Hello everybody. It is not always possible to predict when emergency medical situations will happen. But knowing how to respond to them safely and effectively can be critical in saving someone's life. In this course, we will teach you expert insight on what to do if you are a bystander in different emergency situations. You can increase a person's chances of survival during a life-threatening medical event by familiarizing yourself with how to use an AED, administer first aid, and perform the high-quality CPR. Make the difference between life and death for someone. Learn cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. If the heart stops pumping, it is known as cardiac arrest. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a combination of techniques including chest compressions designed to pump the heart to get blood circulating and deliver oxygen to the brain until definitive treatment can stimulate the heart to start working again. CPR can be life-saving first aid and increases the person's chances of survival if started soon after the heart has stopped beating. If no CPR is performed, it only takes three to four minutes for the person to become brain dead due to lack of oxygen. According to American Heart Association, 80% of the cardiac arrest happen at home or out of hospital. CPR can be used for adults, children, and infants. An AED or automated external defibrillator is, is used to help those experiencing sudden cardiac arrest. It's a sophisticated yet easy to use medical device that can analyze the heart's rhythm and if necessary deliver an electric shock or defibrillation to help the heart re-establish an effective rhythm. Choking occurs when a piece of food, an object or a liquid blocks the throat. Choking is the fourth leading cause of death in infants. Adults can choke from breathing in fumes or eating or drinking too, too rapidly. Most people choke at some point of their lives. It usually short-lived and doesn't pose any real danger. However, choking can be dangerous and cause life-threatening complications. When you provide basic medical care to someone experiencing a sudden injury or illness, it's known as first aid. In some cases, first aid consists of the initial support provided to someone in the middle of a medical emergency. The support might help them survive until professional help arrives. In other cases, first aid consists of the care provided to someone with a minor injury. For example, first aid is often all that's needed to treat minor burns, cuts, and insect stings. We will discuss the emergency first aid situations like first aid of burn and wound, bleeding, and eye injury in details later in this module. Thanks for your patience. Happy learning.